So about a month ago, I made a video on how to customize your Android phone, and the feedback you guys gave me was literally insane. So about a month later, here is version 2.0. So the point of this video is to kind of show you guys a whole bunch of apps and techniques that you can use to make using your Android phone just that little bit more fun and customizable. So let's get started. So let's start with finger. And yes, to the untrained eye, it does just look like an icon. But if you tap on it, it opens up a drawing space where you can draw gestures to give you fast access to different features of your phone. There's a couple of built-in ones. So you can open up things like the Play Store, things like Facebook instantly, but you can also make your own and the choices are just huge. Just to give you an example of what it can do, every time I write the letter R, I've programmed it to open up not just the settings, but the specific settings related to roaming data. So changing lock screens on Android phones seems to have just gone out of fashion a little bit, but it's definitely worth it for an app like ZUI. So this is a pretty standard lock screen replacement, but it's got really swish animations. Everything feels super slick and it pops up instantly. On top of that, it's very customizable. You can customize different widgets to appear and you can dramatically change the way your home screen unlocks. Just take a look at this. And following straight on from ZUI is Smart Lock. And these two are very interrelated because one only works with the other. Now, if you are gonna install ZUI Launcher, then this is just a must have. I have no idea why they bundled them into two separate applications, but what it allows you to do is to double press on the lock screen to turn your screen off. It is a simple feature, but it's very time saving once you start using it. Jumping onto the icon side of life, we've got Immaterialis. And although it is a paid app, with a rating of 4.8, it's one of the best rated icon packs on the market. Not only does it have icon masking so that it effectively brings in line the icons that aren't officially supported, but it has 3,500 officially supported ones, which is just fast. So the next one is pure genius. This is Materialize, and it allows you to bring all your icons in line. Isn't it just so annoying when you have an icon pack which looks fantastic, but some of the icons just stick out like a sore thumb. It allows you to input any icon, no matter how different, unusual, or ugly, and it'll output them in a really clean looking minimal format. And all the icons, all of a sudden, they look uniform. Right, I'm not even gonna try and say the name of this one, but this app is extremely useful. It's a bit of a weird one, and to be honest, I'm surprised someone even came up with the idea. But it allows you to automatically generate profile pictures for your contacts. It uses geometric art and a minimalist text font, and for the perfectionists out there, the people who really wanna just fill their phones, it's quite a clever idea. Next up is my favorite. This is Shimu. It supports icon masking, it's got a vintage look, and it still remains clean. It's got the quite unusual square icons, but it works. Flicking through my home screen, it looks like a living, breathing poster. Now, app number eight is a very simple concept. This is called Tint, and it allows you to make your own wallpapers based on two different colors. So once you pick the colors, you can decide which way the gradient faces. You can choose horizontal, you can choose diagonal, and then you just click set, and it sorts it all out for you. Whilst I do wish it had more options, maybe the option to introduce three colors, it's clean and it's simple to use. Right, so the last icon pack, I promise, is Velour. Now, this is a slightly more popular one, and you're more likely to have heard of it. It's got some interesting small circular icons, very colorful, very vibrant, and they stand out against almost any background because they've all got a bold outline around them. So just to wrap this video up, we've got Unity widgets. Now for some really bizarre reason, the developers have split the app into three different apps. So you've got Unity widgets one, two, and three, and each of them come with a whole host of different wallpapers and widgets. So they work with Zupa, UCCW, but overall they're just super clean and super fun to look at. So I thoroughly recommend you download it. Unfortunately guys, that's it from me for now. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you found it useful. And if you did, then if you just hit that like button, that would just help me out a ton. With that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.